Today, we're going to be diving into a serious topic with a funny twist about a health tip about fats, heart attacks are still the leading cause of mortality. Hey, internet fam, I'm Dana, and welcome back to Staten Talk, where we're gonna mix health tips, as we always do, with a whole lot of laughs. Because as you know, laughing is good for the heart. Today, we're gonna be diving into a serious topic with a funny twist. What I'm gonna be doing over the next three weeks, or the next three videos actually, is I'm going to be going over two comments that were posted and a poll that I put in. I asked, what would you like to hear about? But with that said, we're gonna go ahead and take the first comment and that's what this video actually is about. So the topic is gonna be about a health tip about fats and we're gonna put a funny twist on this. So the truth about fats, statins and heart health. So grab your popcorn, wait, not popcorn, go grab the celery stick instead and let's get started. Make sure you put lots of butter on that celery stick, I mean popcorn. For over 50 years now, we've been told to fear fats, like they were the monsters under our beds. Remember those when we were kids? Don't eat the meat or your heart will scream, but guess what? Despite decades of low fat diets and popping statins like they were candy, like Skittles, heart attacks are still the leading cause of mortality. Yikes. When you visit the doctor and they see that your cholesterol is high, they start hyperventilating. And oh no, we need to start you on statin stat. It's like they're starring in their own medical drama. I don't know. How says my doctor would be pretty good? What do you think? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? But here's the twist. Some believe this fear of fats and obsession with statins might be less about health and more, wait for it, money. Cha-ching! That's right, folks. The push for statins and the whole fats are evil narrative might be driven by the pharmaceutical industries. Now, before I get a strike here, I am not saying anything personally bad about these industries, okay? Now, they do desire to sell products, of course, they're a company, and they rake in billions, and I mean billions. Meanwhile, we're left scratching our heads and our bellies, trying to figure out why we're gaining weight, why we're getting brain fog, and why all these things are happening to us. But where should we really be focusing? Not on fats, not but on sugar. Carbs, processed foods, ooh. Those sneaky little devils are often the real troublemakers behind heart disease and other health issues. Now research does show that cutting down on sugar and processed carbs can really improve heart health. So maybe it's time to rethink our diet. I mean, I can tell you I have epilepsy and I have seizures and over the matter of time, I've cut sugar out of my life for over three years and it is incredible what has happened in my life. Seizures, gone. So maybe it's time to rethink our diet or our lifestyle change as I like to call it. And hey, let's not to forget to laugh along all the way. Laughter is very important. So what can we do? Eat a balanced diet full of whole foods, healthy fats, plenty of vegetables, and always question the mainstream narratives, especially when they seem to benefit big industries more than your health. Now, I wanna thank everybody that watches. And I mean, I do see that I, there is uh, a lot of people watching. I really need for you guys to subscribe if you enjoy this content. If, I mean, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you enjoy the way that I approach this, then if you would, please subscribe. And maybe along the way, we can get some good laughs together and learn something new. So give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said, so we can listen and make more hilarious health tips. See you next time. And this is Dana at Staten Talk.